Hi Bethany. Hi Meg. My name's Meg. Uh, I'm going to be working with you today. Um, so before we begin, we made sure that Bethany did not have a fear of water, that she has no uh, cardiopulmonary issues that would uh, prevent her from doing aquatic therapy, and she has no open lesions or any skin problems that would be aggravated by the pool water. So for to our intervention today, we're going to work on walking across the pool because we want you to be able to uh, walk your dog back at home. So we're going to start with your heels on the back of the wall. And uh, while we're walking, I'm going to be walking alongside you, but I want you to make sure that you keep your back straight the whole time and you're looking straight ahead. And I want you to swing your arms naturally in opposition with your leg movements as we walk across the pool, okay? Yeah, for sure. Uh, yes, fit like that. And make sure whenever you take a step forward, I want your heel to hit the ground first. So we're gonna strike with our heel and then roll your foot down onto your toes. Okay. And then when you push off with your opposite foot, you have to do a, a strong push off, bend your knee, and then place your heel in front of your other foot. Okay. Okay? I'll be watching you and cueing you as we go. Okay. All right, you can go ahead and take a step forward. Okay, make sure to swing that. <laughs> Okay, good job. Heel toe, push off. Heel toe. All right, why don't you take one step this way? Okay, make sure you're swinging your arms as your legs go. So let's start right here. Heel toe. Good job. All right, now Bethany uh, appeared to have a little bit of an issue with her arm swing. So I'm gonna give her a noodle to hold out in front of her. Instead of swinging the arm, she's gonna focus on just the uh, lower extremity movement while holding the noodle out in front of her. All right, you can start. Heel toe, push off, good, heel toe. Good job. Good job. Keep looking straight ahead. You're almost there. Okay, and then lastly, um, for our progression, we are going to walk across the pool with a little bit of turbulence in the water. So I'll create waves with. Uh, the kickboard here, and we're gonna see if she can withstand the perturbations of the water. All right, <laughs> All right. <laughs> she did a good job with that one. Um, so our goal here is we want her to get back to being able to walk her dog for about 10 minutes. So during this intervention, we would have her go across the pool three times and then have her take a one to two minute break and do three sets of those three laps. So she would be doing about nine laps total um, and we would hope that that would eventually lead her up to gaining the endurance to be able to walk her dog regularly at home.